Which are gone on me, aren't they? He's frozen on me, guys. So welcome to Irish Funny Vlogs and welcome to the First Division Preview Show. All the games are on on Friday night at 7.45, which is unfortunate in many ways. Keane will start off with Cabantili and Galway. As usual, Cabantili sit pretty at top of the league early in the season. Galway down in ninth, actually. Similar start to last season, although it's very early to be saying that. How do you think this will go? It's a tough one to judge, isn't it? Big game for both teams, I think. Uh, I think Cabantili, I definitely didn't think they'd be up there so early. I didn't think they'd win the games they won. I'm going to say Cabin Tilly are going to win this. Or just, you know, from watching them play Cork during the day, comfortable, really, really comfortable. And just, it didn't face them, you know. And look, credit, jeez, credit, definitely to work. Like the players that they lost, they lost some big players as well in the off season, you know, big centre half, you know, they lost a couple of players. So, just to think the squad that they have, like, uh, Marty Waters is their star player, let's say, for example. And, you know, if he's your star player, you'd nearly worry. But with Kevin Thiele, you know, it's absolutely fantastic what they're doing. And I just think they're going to win this. Now, look, I can't see them up there towards the end of the year. Mm. I really can't. Maybe, maybe they might sneak a playoff spot. That's me, but... You know, I just think the good form they'll be bouncing into this game, and yeah, I'm gonna go Cabin Tealy to beat Galway here. Yeah, it's an interesting run, all right. Surely God will have a reaction here, in fairness, uh, JP. Um, the interesting thing with Cabin Tealy is can their young players kind of kick on the boots and that, but um, yeah, how do you see this one going? Would you share uh, Keen's sentiments there? Um, yeah, because I Definitely didn't see them having six points after three games. I expected them to beat Wexford, um, but definitely didn't. I definitely didn't see them beating Cork. Not after Cork getting the win early doors against the uh, Cove Ramblers. But look, they've had a fantastic start. From a Galway point of view, you'll be expecting a reaction to that defeat in Athlone because um, Galway, the players that they've brought in, they've gone full time. Um, the money that they've spent, they. The fans and the board and everybody associated will be expecting a reaction in this game because they would have expected to be sitting top of the table by now, even though we're only three games in. Um, it's the way they lost the game that long, wasn't yeah. it? They were three down at yeah. half time. If they'd lost it, say, 2 yeah. 1 or something, it's a defeat. It yeah. can happen, but the manner of it, they won't yeah. be happy with. They would have expected to be under this game on top of the table and really trying to stamp their authority on it as it is they're going in looking for their first one of the season um, because it, they need to get the first one early because if they don't, they could get themselves in that rut. And but instead of challenging for the title, they could be battling for a playoff place. Um, and I'm of game. I think Cabin Tilly, they've won two out of two. They're the team with the momentum. They're the team with no pressure on them because nobody's expecting them to be up where they are, where Galway really need a win. And you know what? I think Cabin Tilly might nick this one. Yeah, interesting stuff. I'm going to go with Galway. What's interesting between this and the Premier Division show, they're all mixed, actually, results, and maybe that tells a lot as well, doesn't it? Uh, Cork City and Athlone Town at Turner's Cross. Athlone are going to be going into this, obviously, with a lot of confidence. Cork, very patchy start, even though they got the win against Cove Ramblers. Cian, they didn't play well down in Cavatilli. I was talking to one or two Cork supporters, and they just said they, they could never get into the game. So what did they need to do here against Athlone to try and get the points that are on offer? They really annoy me as a team. Uh, you know, no, like they, <laughs> they have, they have the, the players. They really, they have the players and they have the quality. Like there should be no reason why they can't go to Cabin Tilly and win the game. You know, and there's no this excuse is what has Cork in this mess. We weren't really are you know we you know we missed about in this one here. I'm sick of hearing it. Like you know, they're they're a club. They're up there with the biggest club in the country and. You know, they, they should be anywhere near where they are. And you'd expect them to you'd expect them to bounce back with a win here, but I just can't say it. Like I really can't. Uh they were absolutely awful against Cove. Like and you know, a goalie mistake again. And then they were very you know, they like shocking to be honest with you for a fourth division team. Shocking. Like 
Uh, really disappointing start. Look, I don't want to lay into them too much. I probably have to lay into them too much already. <laughs> but, you know, I just think... I just think they need to do themselves justice here. You know, they've this is the reason they're down here because they're not performing in big games. They're not performing in games that they should be winning easy. Like, you know, they like even before the season last year, like they were struggling, money, stuff like that. Yeah, we get that. I understand that completely. Like the players that I brought in now, you know, the if a team was really struggling financially, you won't be signing these players. You won't be keeping on these players. So, you know, like um, that, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be filled by that type of thing. I, I just think they have the squad to really be up there like, and challenge. Like, but they need to put the performances in. They were atrocious uh, during the night. Like, Kevin Taylor, like I said, were comfortable. And look, it's not right. And something needs to be done because. We need to have Cork City back in the Premier Division. This is like this is a this is a place that we absolutely hate if going to, and everyone hate if going to. You know, yeah. If you could have a Cork with a one 0 loss, you're doing well, and that's the way it was. And like, it's it's such a shame to see where the club is at now. And I don't. I think obviously that's shown on the pitch. But they have the quality, you know. They have the leaders in that dressing room. The people that have been there and done that. Look, I don't know. Everyone knows me and McNulty probably. I won't be my biggest fan or aunt like it. But I really don't know why he's still in the side. I'm sorry, but I don't. Like, they're in the first division. Let's be honest. They can't get any worse. And, <laughs> you know, you have, you have a goalkeeper who's, in my opinion, has nearly put them there. And you know he he's playing centre half. Oh, he's playing in goal, like and I, I just look. I, I know he's laughing at me, but I'm actually serious here. Like it's so frustrating to see the same mistakes happen week in week out. The same people causing them. Mm. We need to have this Cork City side forwarding again. And I personally think some of these big players need to take a look at themselves because they're in the fourth division. Look. They only lost one game. Mm. Like I'm not saying that I'm not saying they're not winning games for years. Right? They've only lost this one game this year, and I think anybody can go to Coventry and lose in the league. But I expect a better show from Cork City. I think and, they need to show more fight, King. To be honest with you, because I actually agree yeah, with you. That's, some that's people think I mean. some people are saying the Cork. Some people are saying the Cork. Ah, they don't really have the players. For me, they do have the players to compete at the first top of the first division. In my opinion, you've mentioned the leaders there. You've Garrett Morrissey. Garrett Morrissey, like I mean, he's not even a first division player in my view. You know, Wayne has come in from Dundalk. There's good players there. Young Alec Byrne. Um, they, they, what's that? If he's gone, so yeah, like, like, Stephen Beatty, like they brought in Stephen Beatty. Like the players are there for Cork to compete. I know they've had issues, but it's not an excuse now, in my opinion, for what they have on the field. They really need no. to, to dig in here against that loan because that loan, you know, are coming in a crest of a wave. They've got good players, they've got goals in the team. Maybe Cork, something they are lacking, but they need to show the fight if they get anything or if they're going the to fight. challenge. Yeah, that's it. It's the fight that. That annoys me. You know, I'm not saying it enough of this Cork City yeah. team. And, you know, I think that's all fans ask for. Like, you know, we can go out, no problem, and lose one nil every week, now that we gave everything we had. We understand it. That's the game of football. But this Cork City side hasn't performed for, what, two years now, we would say. And, you know, it's it's time to show up now. And it's, it's really, they can shut me up and shut a lot of people up with a win on on Friday night and you know I really hope they do because we need to see this club be turned around I do think Colin knows the club inside out and you know I'm happy that a Cork City man is in charge let's say mm. but you know I think you need to sort that goalkeeper situation out and you know like it's been the problem for two years three years even you know they probably would have won a couple of league titles if it wasn't for the goalkeeper and that's not like that that's that's that really is the reality of it, you know. They were finished runners up every year, and I think on par with Dundalk all over the pitch by the goalkeeping situation. And you know, I think that's that that was the main issue. So here we are now in twenty twenty, twenty twenty one actually. And they're in the fourth division and they still have the same problem, like 
If nobody can see that in so many years, I just don't know. I really don't. I give up. Yeah. How do you see this game going, Keen? Who's going to win it? <laughs> Cork City. <laughs> oh, I forgot the game was on. <laughs> Who's uh, going to win it? Cork City, 3-0. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say a draw. Mm. And I think that that's me being coined to Cork. That's me being coined. I just think... Uh, Look, I said me piece about Cork. I'm going to get rallied in the comments now. But I'll take it. You know what, Keen? Some Cork people might agree with you. That's the point as well. I'm going go for a draw as well. I think, uh, and I agree, I think Cork will do well to get a draw. I can only see Athlone winning. That'll probably come back bite me in the arse. JP, how do you see it? Um, I see Athlone winning this. Um, I think they're, they'll be buoyed by the, the performance that they put in against Galway last week and got the win out of it. Um, mm. But they they limped their draw against GCD. They needed a last minute equaliser, didn't they? And you see teams that get a last minute equaliser, but don't build on it in the next game. And Athlone did that because they came out of the they came out of the traps early on against Galway and put them to the sword in the first half. And I see them doing the same in this. They'll use they'll use that win against uh, Galway to um, kick on because. They've got a win against Galway that nobody expected them to get, so they need to really back that up now with a win here against Cork. And I I can only see them doing that, so I'm going to go for an Athlone win. Yeah, it's an interesting game, though, I think. Shelburne and Wexford now, Keen. I mean, Shelburne haven't won this season. Wexford have no points. I don't want to be too critical of Wexford, but Shelburne, even this day of the season, have to be winning this game, don't they? Shells need to win this, no question about it. And I think there will be questions asked if they don't get three points there. Uh, yeah, I, I can't see anything past. I'm gonna say three, four, nil. Uh, you know, you'd like to think Shells to get that first win here and get themselves back up there where they belong. So I can't see Wexford putting up too much of a fight. I'd say after 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I would say, you know, we're gonna see goals. I think Wexford will twirl. Mm. Oh, you know, Wexford, Wexford won't be worried about getting results against. Shells away and you know Bray away and you know that, that that's not where they're at. Mm. So I wouldn't be worried about it. Uh, I'm going to say Shells, but three or four could be more. Yeah, I think this might be the first time we might all agree with each other. To be honest with you, this week because um, yeah, I agree, JP. What do you think? Yeah, Shells are in the same boat as Galway, aren't they? They're going to be this week needing needing a one. Yeah. Um. Unlike the Galway game, I see Shelburne winning this quite comfortably. Um, they were involved in the game of the weekend last week against mm-hmm. Bray. Um, and they, they they got out with a draw like they did against Galway. They got out with a draw despite being down 10 men. But with the money that they've spent, the players that they've got, they've got a better squad now this season than they did last season. And they really need to get a win early on because, again, if they don't get a win in this game, there's going to be questions asked from all all quarters are going to be asking questions about Shelburne. As these players, are they there for the money? Are they there for the fight? Um, but yeah, I see only a very, very comfortable one for Shelburne in this game. Yeah, I agree. I see Wexford as a their development club and they've really gone that way, particularly this season. They do a lot of great work, don't get me wrong, but with so many young players that are raw young players as well, a lot of them haven't even played much first scene football, it's difficult to expect them to get results. So if they get anything here, it's a great result. It's a bonus. On to Trishy and Cove, and this is Trishy's first ever Munster derby. They've had a great start because they've had four points and two clean sheets, Keen. Um, can they take Cove after their disappointing 4-0 defeat at home to UCD? Definitely. Uh, look, what a start. You can't ask for a better start, you know. Uh, it's it's going to be a tough one. I think Carl will want to, Carl will want to push on now and, you know, to, to Carl need points on the board. That's, that's the reality of it. They had a great performance against Cork. Uh, but then, you know, to go and get battered like that isn't, isn't good. So, you know, they want to come back now and, get a win and make a real statement down or even a draw just to get something and bring it back to Commons Park for the following week, you know. I'm going to say, I'm going to say treat you're going to win this three and I'm going to say treat you, but it's going to be three. There's not, not going to be a lot of quality in the game again. I think 
this is a match that we're really going to see dog and walk like, and it's just going to be pure hard walk and determination. Uh, I'm not saying each team has their own flair players that are really going to get off, and you know, you do need that bit of mag- magic, like, you know, you have you have a couple of players there that you're looking to, to you know, set the bar. And, I just don't think the reason these two teams are not right very good is because they don't do it often enough. So I'm going to say a 1 0 treaty, but it could easily be a nil all. It could easily be a cold win. <laughs> but I just, I just fancy treaty to win this. Yeah, what do you think, JP? I actually don't see anything outside of a nil all or a 1 0 if you get me for somebody. How do you see it? I can't really call this one to me, yeah. to be honest. Um, as you say, it's a monster derby. It's treaty's first. Um, but Cove, like they they were on, they'll find themselves unlucky not to get something out of game against Cork. There's no shame in losing the way that the UC, UCD because UCD can beat anybody in this league by four goals. Like they really can. Like I know I probably underestimated them at the start of the season, but um, there's no shame in losing the the UCD. But then what Cove might do is use that use that defeat as motivation to go and get someone in this game and say, right, well, that's a one-off against UCD. Let's, let's put in the performance that we did against Cork and see if we can get someone out of this game. Um, uh, and 3D, well, they'll, they'll be on a, they'll be on cloud nine, won't they really? Haven't got their first one against Wexford. Um, they got a, an excellent draw against Bray and O'Key and said it was... Mm. The worst game he's ever seen in that game, but um, still a great point to the Carlisle in their opening game. Good yeah. point for them. Um, <laughs> and I, I can see them getting another point. I don't, I can't see Cove winning this game, but I can't see Treaty losing it either. So I think it's going to end up a draw. I'll go for Cove to win one nil. So <laughs> I think they might nick it. Their midfield of um Pierce Phillips and David O'Leary, I think, is a fairly strong midfield, and they'll be disappointed with their start to be honest. And I think they might grind this one out. Finally, we've got UCD and Bray. This could end up being the uh the game of the weekend, the first division, because uh, both teams in general play attractive football. They like to score goals. Bray, by the way, are winless at the moment, Keen. So it's important that they don't actually lose this early doors, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's it's strange how it happens, you know. Uh, I said it before, it's just stats and the way people talk. Yeah. You know, if Bray, Bray lose now, all of a sudden, they're, you know what I mean, they have a one in three games. If Bray, if Bray go another, to draw another two games and win, all of a sudden, they're on an unbeaten streak, you know. It's just, it's the way people talk. So, I wouldn't read too much into it. It's so early, like, I, you'd, you'd fancy, you'd fancy Bray to, to win this game uh, you know I'd, I'd fancy Bray to win it if I'm being honest I just think if they play the way they did against Treaty forget it but you know if they play half as good as they did against Shells you know they shouldn't at the same time I'm going to be critical you know you shouldn't be scoring three goals away from home and not coming out with a win like you know that's you're asking you're asking yourself to climb mountains every game then you know I think they'll tidy her up defensively. I don't think they'll. Uh, I don't think they'll score as many. But I just think Bray alleged this. Yeah, I've noticed uh, JP actually with UCD last season that they often come out with res- which results like they did last week, big four or five nil win, and weirdly the next week they'd be beaten and sometimes convincingly. So it's kind of a test for them as well coming into this game. I personally fancy Bray because I think they'll get off the mark at the three points. And um, UCD are just, they're that or that. What do you think, JP, yourself? How's yeah. it going to go? There's no in between with UCD, is there? It's oh. either very good or very bad. Um, I have a sneaky feeling UCD are going to win this game. Um, I know they were disappointed the first week they conceded so late on against Athlone. And, um, but they, they put that behind them, no doubt, and they absolutely put Cove Ramblers to the sword last, last week. Um Bray will be disappointed, as Keane said, they scored three goals away from home and didn't get the win. Um, and they'll be really disappointed in their performance against Treaty in the first game. Um, but pressure's on again, like Galway and Shelburne, they need to get a win there, they do it. Um, and I think just the UCD, a lot, not a lot of people are tipping them for the for the title, but pressure will be off. Pressure will be off UCD. They've got their first win on the board. Um but I, I think they'll win this one. I really do. I think they'll win it. They're at home. Um, and I think they're going to win this one. 
yeah, I think they're the dark horses in this race, to be honest. Look, guys, we'll leave it there. Thanks for coming on, as usual. Guys, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. Thanks again. Cheers, lads. Brilliant stuff.